series wood burner do you want to know what i really like about it and what i don't like about it that's what this video is about hang around there are plenty of things i like especially how it burns once the when, when it's burning well and the reburner kicks in basically once a week i've had to clean the flue and that's the biggest thing i don't like about my wood burner hi i'm kev trying to live off grid in my 1995 mercedes motorhome six solar panels over two kilowatts charging this awesome self-built 12 kilowatt hour lithium pack i'm building mountain bike trails i'm running mountain bike events freyers along for the ride i'm solar powering my life while i'm off grid and working hard hello off grid fans have a look at this the snow's gone i am no longer snowed in my lovely mountain bike track was here repairing is now all visible rather than being under snow no snow on the fire road so i'll be able to get out today but i thought i'd do one last video there's the stack of my wood burner you might have noticed there's always a ladder around and that's so i can take the chimney flue off the wood burner and then i've been you i've got a cleaner but i've been using this uh, metal pipe here basically to to clean out and look at all that i think basically once a week i've had to clean the flue so it could pull properly and that's the biggest thing i don't like about my wood burner there are plenty of things i like especially how it burns once the when, when it's burning well and the reburner kicks in i'll put some footage on the screen now of the of the fire going well so i do really like my wood burner it does give me a lot of heat it does use a lot of wood um so one of them big black tubs when it's been cold has lasted me a day when and when i've not been working but when uh when i first got here in november and it was less cold and i was working during the day on the trail and then only lighting the burner at like five o'clock at night then then one was was not quite lasting two days but yeah uh, and um, if I'd have had to have brought it all with me, I'd have probably needed to fill my entire garage with <laughs> with wood. As it happens, I've filled the boot of the chimney I think four times. And on the way out, I'll try and get a picture of the uh, log stack I've been pulling from. But basically, I've pulled out two entire rows. So I said I'd show you my wood pile. This is what I've had access to and this was full absolutely full to the front and uh, well, I think I think they've had some for these buildings because that's what it's <laughs> it's for <laughs> and it's, it's a decent sized building here at the visitor center but they've got central eating so I think they only I think they only use the fire when uh, they've had something on but they had, I think they had the Santa's Grotto this weekend with Santa so I'm presuming they had the fire lit then uh, but anyway that's uh, that's the wood pile and that is what has kept me warm but that would have been a lot of wood to bring with me if I couldn't keep coming and just getting a chimney full of it so it is good it isn't the best thing ever uh and uh yeah have a look at uh have a look at the wood burner and i'll do a little review on it for you guys but the main thing as i say is that flu getting blocked and needing a weekly <laughs> chimney sweep effectively so what is this uh, stove that i use well it's actually designed for a tent so this is the sort of size of uh, wood that the wood burner likes and uh, 
tonight it's not too cold so, oh, really should do this with two hands but uh, all I need to do is put what I like is just to put two bits in on a on a night like tonight resting on each other bit of a gap and uh, that'll simmer away nicely keeping me warm but the oven as you can see isn't that hot if I want the oven hotter for cooking then four pieces but still stacked up with um, air gaps so you often see them called bell tent stoves and this one has an oven they, they vary a little bit but they tend to be a basic shape with foldable legs and a tiny three inch diameter flue and that's where I have my problems the flue is just too small and it also gets a bit blocked up where the uh, uh, where the exhaust gases the chimney has to go round the uh, round the oven to get it warm so uh, once a week cleaning the flue once every other week and also at the same time cleaning out the stove itself uh, but I do uh, I do like the way I can temporarily install it in the van so I've got these 40 mil uh, calcium silicate boards these are the sort of things you can put in a uh, in, a, in, a, in a pizza oven on the floor they're really really uh, good so I've got four of those and then a couple of um, sort of just heat shields and I do sort of touch and see and you can see I've added because it was getting so hot I've added this bit of tin foil here just as a an extra bit of uh, deflector from there but I do check it and uh, heat's not been a problem I've had this since 2020 so I've had three winters out of it and uh, I've made it work for me.